Okay, so now we've got rid of the um, chickens. <laughs> On this particular bike, this is a 13 mil. Yeah. You're literally on the stands. We're not taking the wheels out, so we don't have to do any other pinch bolts or any of the axles or anything like that. We're just straight for the brake pads. Straight for the pads, yeah. And just move the ABS up out, literally on there. Yep. That's it. Okay. And then to get them out, they literally just pop out, I think. You just get them in the... One out. Oh. Two out. And that That's is it. it. And then, obviously, to put them back in, the new ones will be fatter. Okay. So you, we need to return these calipers back into the pots but what um, we're going to do sure. is these so they'll yeah. push back in but we're going to give them a quick clean first okay so obviously these ones are much faster the difference in yeah that's all versus yeah is this how it goes inside yeah um is that not supposed to be aligned i, I don't think it matters i think they're all the same yeah yeah okay um give it a good old toothbrushing Try and get around the back break. of them. It's basically just like cleaning your teeth. With this brake cleaner. Yeah, brake cleaner. Very important. Don't use Anything any sort greasy. of... greasy. Yeah. Mm. Basically, brake cleaner evaporates super quickly. Do you use any water or anything? No. And you'll be able to see all the dripping mank coming out. I mean, you can spend hours on this, but if you're just doing it at tractor or whatever, or if you do it regularly, it's not going to... You don't have to do it too too much. Behind these pots, there's a um, pot seals, which are like little rubber O-rings, because mm -hmm. there's fluid behind here. So when that fluid comes down to the caliper, it pushes these pots onto the pads, which obviously clamp around the disc. Yep. So you don't want dirt going under that seal, which is exactly what's happened to my Suzuki at the moment. And then you get the pile thing. And then you get piles, yeah, you get a prolapse. <laughs> And hopefully, these are pretty good condition, cleanish calipers. The pots will return nicely inside. So then... You push them in. Yeah. Look at that, beautiful. Can I try? Yeah. You've got to be pretty, pretty strong though. I can do it. Yeah. I can't do it. How do you do it? Strength. Whatever. You push one in and the other comes in. Yeah, well that's a good sign because it means they're all kind of free flowing. Yeah. If I pump the brake lever. You ready? Yeah. So you can see them coming in. Obviously yeah. if I hold that one to resist it against, the other ones will pop out. But I quite like giving, doing that a couple of times and just having another little squirt in there just to make sure they're free flowing. It's so easy to change your brake pads and there's not much you can do wrong. See, I don't think I'd be able to do that. Yeah, you can. So you saw me with the C's caliper, you had a G clamp in there, yeah. and you can get a bit of wood and kind of yeah. use something to do it. So we're just returning these into the pots now, so we can fit the fatter do newer pads in. Do you have to push in. them all the way in? Uh, push them in a fair bit. I don't think... That's, that's probably enough, but remember yeah. we've got to get around the disc in the middle as well. Oh, so. yeah. In fact, let's give the spring a little clean as well. A spring clean! <sighs> <laughs> That clip just sits in there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that just holds it in there, basically. Okay. And then gently, with a screwdriver, just Make sure they're seated so you've got enough room. For the disc. For the disc. And then, actually, bang, that's it. Okay. 
Make sure you clip all the little ABS sensors and stuff back on. Now, you can check, yeah, there's some grease on here. Sometimes you can use copper slip or this silver grease. I don't like this silver grease. It keeps coming back from BMW covered in this silver grease. Mm -hmm. And it gets on everything. And it doesn't come out. And you do one side at a time. Because if you're pumping the brakes and you've got both calipers off, they're going to close completely and you'll never be able to get them open again. And that is pretty much it. Obviously you want a fairly, I don't know the exact torque setting on this, but it's basically a pretty hefty pull. And that's it? That's it. Shall I do the other side? Do you think I can do it now? Of course you can, it's easy. Okay, let's do it. Yeah? Yeah, pull it up. That's it. Okay. Yeah. And then do, uh, yeah, do the top one first. I know, I know. Do you want that's it? That's it. Okay. Do you want some uh, rubber gloves for your nails? No, I'm okay. <laughs> okay. There's no ABS clips on there, so you should just be able to just pull it off. Actually, hang on. Uh, just push it back on a second. I'm just going to um, pump the brake because the other one is out. Because what will happen okay, I know, yeah. is the fluid will be stuck up here. Okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then it will normally just kind of just about get to the rim. Is okay. It? Okay. So I can just take these out. Yeah. You just need to. That's it. Yeah, okay. So. Okay. That's easy. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cleaning. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You can see all the manky crap coming out. Brake dust is hugely, hugely, is highly corrosive as well. It's not good to leave brake dust on your wheels. It encourages the rusting. Okay, but brake cleaner is the one thing I don't have to worry about the bike being in the background when I'm spraying it, right? Uh, Unlike WD-40, yeah, I mean, for it, example, because that's greasy, so you have to be worried about what you're spraying it on. Yeah, but I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't clean your fairings with brake fluid. What I'm doing fluid. now is not dangerous. To no, it evaporates very quickly. I mean, you can spray it. That's the hardest thing about doing this, is that it seems to sort off. Okay. It smells nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you can get a bit of blue roll, get rid of the excess. I mean, you can go to town on it if you want. You can sit there for hours and get all the crap out, which... If I was doing it on my own, I, and I, today I haven't got much else to do, so I probably would sit there and be really anal about it. But. Okay. And if you take the clip off for the back, that's it. You can then get the toothbrush in that side and clean the back of the pots. It's silly little things that can actually make you go faster. If these pots aren't particularly clean and they're not returning into the caliper, it's going to drag on the front wheel. It's going to slow you down. And you know, for the I, sake I'm of I'm sure that's my problem. Yeah. <laughs> really but no, but you see people spending thousands of pounds on something that might make them go, you know, three mile an hour faster. Well, if you lubed your chain, changed the oil, and cleaned your calipers, that which gets, costs yeah. nothing, it you'd achieve is, it. It's very satisfying too. Yeah. To know it's all clean. You've got slightly different calipers on your bike. 
they're more annoying. Yeah? Yeah. We should do it. You've actually got uh, eight pads in yours. I know, and they're very expensive too. Yeah. By the way, before we get sued for any sort of legal disclaimers, we are not qualified mechanics. We are just showing <laughs> what, <laughs> we what, think I, what right, I do. We, what we think is the right thing to do. What you think is the right thing what to do. What I think do. is the right thing to do, yeah. I just do what I'm told. <laughs> Anything beats having to faff around, take it to a garage, go, can you change the brake pads? And it's so easy to do. Okay, That's your super strength. Let's see if I can do it. Ow. I can't, no, here. I can do it. Are they independent? Yeah. Oh yeah, they are. Oh, this going in. Oh, it's going in. This caliper is so good. Oh, it's going in. Because you can actually get in both sides as well, which is nice. Oh, this is so easy. I think you can buy these calipers for about 500 quid. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, pump it again and clean it again. Yeah, if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A bit more because this one's still stuck. Okay, we'll put your finger on the other one. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, beware! Don't put your fingers in there and pump the brakes because you will break them. Well, I just did that. I know. As in, don't get your fingers stuck. What's the brush? Okay, that'll probably do it. And then blue roll it off. Okay. Okay, so squeeze them in. Now they're going in easier this time. Clean now. No, I want to get rid of this. Just hang on, I'll just give you a head start. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like this? Yep. That's it. And then just get in the other side and just give it a push. This is the other side. Okay. You need to get like you you want you want to try and put it in an, an angle so the back of it is on the actual. Got it. So just use that screwdriver. Okay, is that it? Yep, yeah, looks good. Okay, and then... Set. That's it. Bolts. Caliper bolts, yep. How tight? It's like there's Probably like as tight as you can push it. Push it. <laughs> Sit. It's probably about right. Okay. That's it. Done. <laughs> there you go. This is easy, isn't it? It is. Come on, chickens. <laughs> They're all hiding in there. Yeah. <laughs> Get out. Get out. Get out. You don't you can't stress them because then they won't have eggs. Can I still in there? Yes, do your chicken <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh they're coming out. Can you get in the bush? 
Well, me? Yeah. Why would I get in the bush? Scare them out. Come on, you guys. Come on, get out. Okay, okay. Up. Why can't you go out that? Why, why, why don't you get past me? <laughs> Just go out now. Ah, there he goes.